Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi fellow artists, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Art. Hey, today we're gonna learn how to make a book like this. First, you need to get a narrative sheet or you can just do it on a piece of notebook paper or something, but I like having it organized. In the description, I'll have a link to these sheets. See, I have a box here where I can draw something, and then I can write what's going on. So what I want to do is have, you know, I'm going to develop the character and some other stuff. So let's take a look how I develop the character first. Okay, fellow artists, you see how I developed this character. I have, pic I drew pictures in here, and then I have some words over here. So I'm going to have, this is the character, this is Binks. I drew a kitty cat with Meow, and I said, Binks the Wonder Cat, she's lazy, and she's furry, and cuddly, and smart, and happy. Down here, I was like going, oh, okay, I want to have like this scene, it's going to be the windowsill, I have a sun, there's the kitty cat, you know, and it's, it has an amazing view, and it's, there's this forest around, and blue sky, and beautiful lake, and bright sun, and warm blanket. And then down here, I draw some clouds and I put down burr, meow, which means that she's cold and she's unhappy. So the clouds arrive and they block the sun. And we have a cold cat and there's big puffy clouds. Next, we're going to write the narrative. All right, artists, here's my narrative. I have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Or it could be a beginning, a problem, and solution. You can have multiple scenes in here, but I'm using these three scenes to write my book. So I have Binks, and she has her sunlight, and I wrote down, one day, Binks, the Wonder Cat, was cuddling a blanket on the windowsill. She was warm and happy. So I wrote a lot of words there, but there's not the same number of words in my book, but that's okay. More words is better sometimes, okay? Let's take a look what I did next. Next, I colored in the scenes. I wanted to get an idea before I started my book of the colors I wanted to use and how it was laid out. And again, I wrote down the beginning, problem, and solution here. Want to see how the book turns out? But first, we have to learn how to make the book. First step in making the book, you have a blank piece of paper. See how it's blank on both sides? However, I'm going to use a different piece of paper just for illustration to show you how to fold the paper. I have lines here. First, you want to fold it this way, the short way. Not this way, the long way. You want to do it the short way, like this. I'm going to fold it in half. This line here, I'm going to fold it in half again. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to fold it in half again. But wait, this book isn't like the book I had before, where I have like pages like this. We have to do a cut. Remember how we folded our paper like this? And then we fold it down again, and then here. So we have a, a line here and a line here. We want to cut from the area that's folded from this top area here down to the middle. But we make sure that it's all like this. So let's cut that paper. See how I cut that? It should be kind of like flaps. So I'm going to unfold it. I'm going to fold it back over. And then I watch what I do. I push the ends together. And then now I have my book. See how I have all these pages? So I have a front cover, page one and two, three and four, five and six, and then seven, or the back cover. But I'm doing my book a little bit different. Let's take a look how my finished book turned out. Here's my finished book. See, I decorated the front cover and it says Binks likes the sun and there's the sun and here's my kitty Binks. I used both pages for this scene so this is my beginning 
One day, Binks was laying on a blanket. She likes the warm sun. She was warm and happy. You see how she's laying on a blanket and she's sitting there and the sun is just coming down. The sky is blue and there's trees and shrubbery. Here's my middle. Or the problem, there's clouds and it's gray and she's not happy. See her frown? Not a happy cat. Clouds arrived, and she was cold and unhappy. Oh, poor Binks. And then here's the solution. The clouds are still out. It says, Binks' is human set up a lamp. See the lamp right here? She was happy and warm. See how she's smiling? And her paws are up on the table so she can get closer to the lamp. And that's the end of my book. Can you make a book too? I'm sure you can. And remember, to be an art person, all you have to be is a person that does art. We can cross the river, river of emotion. Full of love and breeze, breeze of desperation. Empty hearts and mouths without.